Hello. Today, we are heading southwest from the capital of Dorset, Dorchester. Our destination today is a village famous for the ruins of a 12th century Benedictine Abbey, the picturesque 13th century St. Nicholas Church, and the slightly younger Swannery. Ahead of us lies the nearby 18-mile Chessel Beach, Abbotsbury. The name Abbotsbury is derived from the Benedictine Abbey Abbey and the Old English word bury, meaning settlement. In medieval times, the place was known as Abbotsbury or Abbotsburg. Abbotsbury was founded in the 7th century by a nun named Bertana, who was the sister of King Inn of Wessex. Bertana was granted land in the area by her brother, which led to the establishment of the settlement. Soon, Abbotsbury became an important trading point, benefiting from its strategic location on regional trade routes. Before us lies one of the most recognizable landmarks of the village Abbotsbury Swannery. It was established in the 14th century by monks from the abbey who bred swans for meat. They chose this location due to its natural conditions favorable for bird breeding, including access to fresh water and abundant food.
Abbotsbury Swannery is home to around 600 mute swans, making it one of the largest concentrations of these birds in the UK. The swans thrive here due to ideal living and breeding conditions, provided through careful management and environmental protection. The swannery is also an important center for research on these majestic birds. The swannery offers many attractions for visitors, including the opportunity to feed the swans and participate in educational nature programs. Each year in May and June, hundreds of cygnets hatch, attracting thousands of tourists. This event is not only a tourist attraction, but also an important moment for nature researchers. Abbey Farm in Abbotsbury is one of the oldest operating farms in England, dating back to the medieval period. The farm includes historic buildings used by monks for storing grain and other agricultural products, which are now preserved as part of the region's cultural heritage. It also hosts various events and festivals related to agriculture and rural traditions, making it an important hub in the local community's social life. The history of Abbey Farm and Abbotsbury dates back to the medieval period, when it was part of the Benedictine Abbey's estate. 
the farm served the monks as a primary food source, providing grains, vegetables, and meat. After the dissolution of the abbey by Henry VIII in the 16th century, the farm became privately owned, but continued to maintain its agricultural traditions, which can still be seen today. Abbey Farm offers interactive tours where visitors can learn more about farm life. There are also shops selling local farm products. The farm supports the local community by hosting regular events and workshops. It also attracts nature enthusiasts who can walk around its picturesque grounds. St. Nicholas Church was built in the 12th century and is one of the oldest churches in the Dorset region. The original structure was a simple stone building that has been expanded over time. The church has preserved many original architectural features, including Norman arches.
The interior of St. Nicholas Church features beautiful stained glass windows depicting biblical scenes. The 18th century altar is hand carved and adorned with gilding. There are also old wooden pews that have survived through the centuries. During the Reformation, the church was damaged, but many valuable elements such as stained glass windows and sculptures survived. Renovations in later centuries restored the church to its former glory. Today, the church is known for its beautiful stained glass windows and historic tombstones. Before we visit the unique chapel perched on the hill above the village, let's take a short stroll among the charming cottages of Abbotsbury. The village of Abbotsbury is characterized by traditional stone cottages, often with thatched roofs. These charming buildings have thick stone walls, providing excellent insulation. Many of them date back to the 17th and 18th centuries.
The village boasts numerous examples of rural architecture, with picturesque gardens and stone walls. These elements add charm and character to Ebbets Berry's landscape. The village is a perfect example of traditional English countryside. Take a moment to enjoy the view of the village from around the chapel. For more photos, please stay tuned until the end of the video and visit my profile on Facebook. Before us is St. Catherine's Chapel. It was built in the 14th century and served as a place of prayer for monks from the nearby abbey. Constructed from local stone, it stands on a hill overlooking the village of Abbotsbury. The chapel is known for its unique architecture and stunning views. The interior of St. Catherine's Chapel is austere, but has retained many original features, such as stone benches and the altar. The chapel has never been significantly altered, making it a valuable historical monument. It is often used for private prayers and meditation.
Meanwhile, we are heading down to the village where I will show you some other picturesque spots. A good piece of news for those without a car or bike is that you can simply take the X-52 or X-53 bus from Weymouth or Bridport Axminster to reach this picturesque village. Our walk is slowly coming to an end. Thank you all for exploring with me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I encourage you to do so, so you don't miss my upcoming videos. As always at the end, I invite you to view some photos of this exceptional place. See you soon.